morning, guys. It's chaos at the house this morning. Don't, don't let her hear yet. Why? Just wait. Just wait. For us. See? Chaos at the house. Can't let the dog out to go to the bathroom. No, because she runs around and eats the snow. Because... Check out. Holy jeez, that's a lot of snow. And this is actually Ruby's first time in the snow this year. The most important part the first time I get to finally use my tractor. <laughs> so excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to use my tractor. You love know the snow? You love know the snow room? The parcels are all under the tree, right where they should be. Soon everything is crisp and fine. Disney bona fide. long as he's been wanting a farm he's been wanting a tractor and he has one and yeah he's playing with it he's playing with it out there <laughs> uh, where we live work some places have altered work time so Sam doesn't have to be at work until 10 a.m. this morning because of the weather isn't that super cool like it almost makes you want to live in Canada except that you have to drive in snowy conditions and that's super scary and I'm worried about how that's gonna affect our horsey um, stuff because I do not like riding driving in the winter, but luckily I can always wait until 3 8, 3 p.m. When Sam gets home and he can always take us well, first snow of the season means what are you making there ice cream snow ice cream It's true. Uh, Gabby is making snow ice cream and if you're wondering you put vanilla and milk and snow no. Snow milk and sugar. Yeah, and sugar vanilla to make it sweet. You're supposed oh. to put vanilla too add, um... Oh gosh, we don't ever use sugar that is enough if you are wondering what this tastes like, it tastes like dirt. Like, I'm not going to lie, the snow is gritty. No, it's sweet. It's gritty. It tastes like sweet dirt. It tastes like cleaned up dirt. It tastes like absolute dirt. So, no, yeah. it doesn't. Make no. it at your own risk, you guys. Everyone close your eyes. And don't mind the cream cheese on her lips. Okay, now open them. Look at my da, snowball. Da, da, da. That's how you snowball, you guys. I want to bring it inside the house now. Yeah, yeah, she wants to bring it inside the house. Guys, when I was little, um, my mom and we lived at our old house. My mom, my mom brought like huge buckets of snow and either put them in the sink or the bathtub. Like, why did I, Why did your mom do that? Because she did it with all her kids. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Uh, when my kids were all small, I brought snow inside. Um, we did spend a lot of time outside, but I wanted them to have a chance to experience and play with snow um, while they were in a warm place so that I didn't have to freeze either. But I remember my boys making big, huge um, Batman command centers in the bathtub filled with snow. It was just amazing. Like, I think everybody should bring snow in for their kids. Uh, just a little bit of vanilla. Anyway, we still have not got any further um, with our Christmas decorations because I've been busy. Anyway, um, 
Usually I put some garland up here and some lights. And usually there's not a coffee cup over here. That's Sam's. <laughs> um, but I'm actually really liking it just plain this year. Like I want to go with a neutral theme. Yeah, Levi agrees. But um, I do have some lights. Um, yeah, that is blue ice cream. I cannot believe I know, you I put. Tried it. That's disgusting. No, it tastes so good. You could even put like cocoa powder in here. Disgusting. I'm dirt. very picky, guys. Blue dirt, you guys. Blue dirt. Guys, I made a stall. So you just pull that down. And then focus. What would you do without without these guys, without our day fam? You guys look forward to talking to them every single time I turn on the camera. Like, we, they would miss you guys if you were gone. Levi would love this. Got sugar in it. It tastes good, right? Actually, yeah, that tasted really good. There was no dirt in today's snowfall. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so I do have some lights in that little thing that kind of needs to be fixed up a bit. No, you cannot have coffee. No coffee for birds. It's oh, empty. No, no, there's some in there and I don't even want him to get a taste. Could you imagine this guy on coffee? No coffee for birds. Like, but I um, really get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no coffee for girls either. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. And I think I'm probably going to leave it unless I find something to put in front of it. I don't know. I just like it that it's plain this year. Can you make me that? Yeah, get I'm going to have to split it. I, I, I made too much. Oh, so well, that's good. Because you do not need all that sugar. I'm going to get a new angel or a new star. That's just one that was there. I don't know where our other one went. Actually, it went to Nick's house. It went to Nick's. Yeah. But, broken. but our tree is really, it's just all gold and silver and I'm going to get some ribbon and I need to get a new uh, tree skirt. Thank goodness in. because because we used to have these big red balls and we still have them and she used to hang them and they look horrible. <gasps> Where are those? I miss those. I need to go find them. I love them. But Gabby is really into the neutral um, theme for our tree too this year. I like what do gold. you, what do you think of the tree? This, this is not gold. No, but it's wood, and I like that. I'm also going to get a bunch of big pine oh, cones. No. The nose fell off. It's yours. The nose um, I also tucked a few decorations inside there, like this Santa, which Sam bought for it. Or no, that we, Sam and I won this our first year together Ooh, in a contest, and I love it. This was my inspiration for our tree, so I still have some things to buy. I didn't like the green that they put in it, so I'm just going to have it gold and neutral colors, and I'm going to get some gold bows. I also have some garland over here and I'm going to decorate this tree, this little pencil tree. I don't actually have any decorations for it yet. I'm going to buy some and I'm also going to buy some ribbon, some gold ribbon and do bows over here. I get goosebumps when we're getting ready to do morning meeting. Everybody grabs their stuff. I've got my water. Um, Sophie gets to take her, her stuff ready. Kevin gets her stuff ready because we start out by reading together. I like to cuddle over here with the puppies and put a blanket over me while I read to the girls. I like to watch out the window and watch for the UPS guy because all the Christmas packages are starting to come and that is so fun. We just saw the UPS guy and he delivered a box to somebody else and I was like, oh my gosh, she's here. But yeah, it wasn't for us. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah. We're gonna head to the barn in a little bit We're gonna uh, wait and go with Sam Because the roads are not completely clear yet And this mama does not like driving in winter conditions But um, we were just listening to the Coin Devil Advocate podcast for today <laughs> And as she talked about um, if your horse loves you, and I realized that I forgot to tell you guys a story about what happened with Stella, something that you guys don't know about. Anyway, um, after a lesson when Sophie was super afraid, she was on the ground, I was holding Stella, and Sophie was standing beside me and she was crying and she had tears pouring down her face. What happened? What happened when you were crying in front of Stella? Stella rubbed her face on me. It's, it's true. Stella was so upset that Sophie was upset. She moved past me, went right up to Sophie and was putting her face in Sophie, kind of like a dog would come and smell you and, and check you to make sure that you're okay. And she kept at it. Like she just kept doing it and doing it and to make sure that Sophie was okay. And I kept saying, Sophie, look at your horse. She loves you. She loves you. Because she definitely was upset that Sophie was crying. And that's like a big thing because it was a true sign to us 
the Stella does recognize her, recognizes her as her owner. As a family. As a family. As a Wait. We don't have a bird. We do have a bird. We don't have a bird. We do have a bird. <laughs> we don't have a Gabby. We do have a Gabby. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that story. We and don't have a Sophie. We have a Sophie. Oh my gosh. We have a Sophie. We have a Sophie. And I also wanted to tell you another story about people are asking how do you how did you bond with your bird because like we did not know about bonding with our bird when we first got him and Gabby. All we had to do was just. Gabby treats him like a dog and he loves her the best. She handles him like a dog. She expects him to listen like a dog. Like people told me, oh, you cannot train a bird. Like you can't expect them to listen to you. He listens to us. We say, uh, uh, don't to touch, touch that. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He wants a kiss. Um, but he legitimately is so calm. He's used to being manhandled. He um, comes and climbs on top of me. I posted a picture on my personal Facebook book today. I'll post it online. But um, on Instagram, but he comes up to me when I have all the dogs on me, climbs up my leg, sits in the middle of my chest, and um, listens to whatever I'm reading or or, or just sits there. Get podcast. He lets me rub his entire head. Like it's amazing, you guys. It is simply amazing the things that this ho this bird lets us do, and <laughs> and how he has adapted to our family. Like. He's amazing, and it was all based on bonding, 150 million percent. Are you bonded to us, Levi? Like, he, he gets it, he knows us, he recognizes us as his leaders, mostly, because sometimes he leads us still. <laughs> Say hi, Levi. He said hi. <laughs> and I really think that he um, loves being in a busy, active family, because that's what we are, and that's what suits him. He says, that's right. That's right. Hey, handsome. Hey. She's like, oh no, I thought it was good. Hi, well look, she looks curious, you guys. She looks excited, she looks happy. I'm just learning all that kind of stuff. She's looking at Sophie. Hi. The girls love to ride at this time of the night because the horses have a lot more energy. So remember to be super confident. tell that the muddy season is finished we have such a short muddy season in Canada it gets cold so fast nice clean hoof you have pretty hoof storm storms like I'm tired are you tired barn is busy tonight lots of people riding Sophie's already up there brave and strong it's gonna be hard for the girls it's gonna be hard for the girls to get used to riding with other people. But look at Sophie, all strong and forward, trotting her mare along. Gabby's up. So we just came by to exercise Stella. This is all about Stella, getting her fit. Good job, Miss Boss. You look good. Why don't you do some figure eights too? I love the radio playing. Are you going to do some figure eights? I feel like the radio helps with spooks. Knock on wood. Oh, a little bit of sand, snow, and what happened just now again? And did you handle it? Yeah, calm your breathing. <laughs> she can tell even if you're faking it. Good girl. See, it's not that scary. All horses are like that, Sophie. She's just acting like a regular old horse. It's because the snow fell. Good job. My hurts being. <laughs> Try and control your heart. Deep breath like this. Just calm. Good girl, Stella. You're amazing. See, that was nothing. Sophie got all this confidence yesterday on her lesson. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow because it was amazing, right? Guys, I still trust her. Yay! Finally, some confidence. Girl one, girl two. Winter is spooky. If you believe in love, how will I feel it? If you believe in me, how will you let me in? If you are ready, how do I reach you? You're thinking about us, you're thinking about it too.
There's lots of noise. That's okay. She's doing good though. Like the sweater and then the snow and then the horse thing. Yeah, but it, she's fine, right? Okay, keep going. I've got you, Soph. Come on, keep her busy. Remember, keep her head turned a little bit to the inside. But when she starts to look at something, like that. Yeah, that's it. That's called paying attention to your to your girl. That's amazing. Times are changing. Higher and higher, I'm gonna raise the flag. Fire will fire, send out a flare to find. Give me a reason. I'm gonna send a sign. Lots of little spooks for Stella and Sophie's handling them perfectly. Just little tiny spooks like a regular old horse would do. And it's because a horse is galloping and so she was starting to feel nervous. But she's got this. Good. Don't act nervous, just act good. If you believe in love, give me a feeling. If you believe in me, hold me in. Yesterday in her lesson, she worked on being strong and being confident, and it really makes a huge difference for Stella. Okay, one more time around, and you're good. Okay. Uh oh, it's okay. You're okay. Keep going. Keep going. Listen to the music, so listen to her. Whoa, what was that trip? He's not used to those boots, maybe that's why. He's not used to those boots. And feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Was it a spook or a trip? Wow, it's a spooky night. Zipping on a genie juice. Good job, Missy. Proud of yourself.
Play door. Never shy away from a good time. Coming on Friday night. I see my friends and feel all right. There ain't no stopping us from having fun. There ain't no cloud inside. The future is looking bright. Stormed in a big, huge spook, and I oh, caught it. Compared oh. to Sabrina and Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, I know, but the biggest spook he's ever done. Oh, look how cute he looks right now. I know. He was so good. He is nervous. He's, he's so actually nice extending. Uh, yeah, no. that's amazing. So he's so that Zoe's wearing her sweater, and then... Go take Zoe her sweater. No, and um, I think the Mom. birds. Stella spooked three times, you guys. It's been a so really spooky night. And how did yes. you handle it? Amazingly. Yeah, because you learned After that you can she handle it. Once, I started puffing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta not puff. Take a deep breath. Somebody was saying that they saw Tex and Storm playing in the snow, running around, chasing each other like crazy. Mm -hmm. Storm's like, like, oh, it's a horse. Look, you got lots of hay left. Good night, Storm. Good night, Stella. Um, uh, we got some new wood stoneware, and I'm really excited. I wanted like dishes that were um, completely white or like a cream color, and I'm really excited about them. I can't wait to unpack we them. We got a Levi in the box. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end today's video, but before I do, I wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow is the conclusion to our specialist topic on equine devil's advocate. It's the solution to our problem with Stella and Sophie. I have to go and send in my decision what i think that we should do and then tomorrow on sunday she's going to do a podcast we're all going to get to hear what her professional opinion is we're going to hear if she thinks that we should sell stella if we should keep stella and get another horse or if we should just keep stella so yeah if you guys haven't um told sent her your opinion um and what you think we should do then you should go to her website equinedevilsadvocate.com and submit your your choice and yeah i'm kind of nervous nervous but i'm excited too i can't wait to hear what she says i know it will be profound a lot of people have sent me messages saying thank you so much for sending me to her podcast because everything that she says is profound and i feel like um through listening to her podcast we're gonna learn about horses anyway that's it for today see you guys tomorrow Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.